Hey everyone, it's Vargov, and I'm back with another tutorial. As you can see, I've uh, redecorated the uh, home here. I uh, haven't made a tutorial in about three, four days. Um, and I've been busy, obviously. Um, I redid everything, made everything out of iron, uh, found some dyes, uh, made some dyes and dyed some wool, made some carpet, I guess you could call it, carpeting. Um, pretty much remade some things. Uh, however, in this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on how to make a gate to the netherworld. Um, now, the material you're going to need is uh, some obsidian. I'm going to bring up the inventory. This is obsidian right here. Um, you're going to need obsidian, flint, and steel. Now, I've also got uh, the ingredients here to make flint and steel, which is flint and uh, iron ingots. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, you can find obsidian, however, you can find obsidian in the um, deeper parts of mines and natural caverns, um, usually right next to some water or some lava. If you find lava and water in very close proximity together, you probably have a high probability of having obsidian nearby. Now, if you have water, or excuse me, if you have lava, you can take a bucket of water by... Um, making a bucket first off out of um, steel here you get the iron ingots and you can make a bucket and uh, you take the bucket fill it with water and pour it on top of the lava it will make obsidian now in order to mine obsidian you have to have a diamond pick so you might want to find some diamond first um, tutorials on finding diamonds are really hard to make because finding diamond is really more of a matter of luck so I lucked out and found uh, a couple of rather large strands and some very big mines of mine. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make some flint and steel, assuming that you've already got some obsidian. I've got a good bit here. Um, in order to make flint and steel, you take the flint, and you're going to put one flint right there in the bottom crafting table, and you're going to take an iron ingot, and you're going to put it to the left, and up one and that is going to make flint and steel now what this does is it basically sets things on fire I'll uh, demonstrate really fast I can come out here with the flint and steel and as you can see my farming is working rather well however I can come out here with the flint and steel and <coughs> burn myself apparently but you just right click and it sets things on fire and it has a rather long bit of usage now you can see I already made an obsidian gate and uh, a creeper snuck up on me because it was at night time I probably shouldn't have done that but go ahead and look at this uh, this design right here this is four cross five up four across five down and it leaves just enough space up here and what you'll do is you'll walk up to the center of it you don't want to block off the back end or it's not going to work but you walk up to the center of it and you'll just light it on fire right click and it creates a gate um, I'm gonna go ahead and move away from that really fast um, and I'm actually going to make a gate for you instead of just let you sit there and, you know, I'd be like, well, that wasn't very helpful at all. So instead, I'm going to make a gate for you. Uh, we're going to say this is about, what, four across right here. And we're going to place our obsidian that right there. We're going to place our obsidian. One, two, three, four. We're going to go five up. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Two, three, four, five. One, two. And that should be it right there. That's, that's obsidian. That's a gate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Ah, uh, darn it. 
I'm gonna collect this real fast. Uh, while we're at it, I'm just gonna let you know that it takes a very long time to mine obsidian. It almost seems like it's never going to break open. So, when you're gathering a lot of obsidian, be patient. Um, don't think that it's not working at all, because it is. You just gotta keep hacking away. Now, to actually start the gate, like we said, you know, you just gotta walk right up to it, and bam! Right click, and there it goes. And as far as I know, you can have multiple gates, because I believe that one over there is still on. That's right. And I have another gate, um, back in my area. Out there. Um, but there's no, no real point in showing you that gate. Uh, it just means that I have three active gates for the netherworld. Um, with that, uh, this concludes our tutorial. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe. Uh, I accept criticism. It helps me improve my tutorials. Um, you may have noticed in the earlier ones, um, my uh, audio wasn't so, it wasn't very well, uh, very well made. So I um, have adjusted my microphone settings and I am now um, using uh, better settings. So hopefully you all can hear me very well and understand me. And I hope this tutorial was helpful, and um, I'll put another one up soon of uh, something else. Probably, I don't know, how to make some fences and some railroad tracks and mine carts and things of that nature. And um, we'll put that together. Ooh, there's a spider. And anyway, we'll put that together um, next time on our next tutorial. Uh, this concludes this one. So everyone have a great time playing Minecraft. See you later.